we have the pleasure to talk to Professor James Kelly from the uh, Industrial Design High School. And uh, Professor Kelly, maybe you can tell us a little bit about the concept of this university. Yeah. Uh, Fontheim is actually quite a, a very old institution. Um, we cover not just obviously car design, but the various departments in Gestaltung, that's design, uh, covering everything from, from fashion design, industrial design, jewellery design is very, very strong here in Fontheim, and graphic design. Um, transportation is one, probably one of the youngest areas, one of the youngest departments uh, in, the, in the school. Um, we have both undergraduate courses and uh, recently we've started a master's course in, uh, in transportation design. Uh, maybe a few words to the, to the uh, undergraduate course, um, which is now a bachelor's course. It used to be called the Diploma here in Germany. It's a bachelor's course in line with other European American schools. And it's a seventh uh, semester course. Each semester has uh, 14 weeks. And that time the, the, the students study everything from the basics in, uh, in engineering, um, marketing, sociology, ergonomics, aerodynamics, everything to do with the cars, uh, right through to all the degree uh, semester. Um, the, uh, the first few semesters are really um, very strong on, as I said, just the basics of car design. But all the projects are given by the professors. That means the, uh, the, the students are only allowed to uh, develop their own projects in the degree semester, which uh, can be done not only here in the school, but they can do it within a, uh, a major uh, company. Um, one of the semesters, the fifth semester, the students have to do an internship, a placement within a company, and that is also for, for six months. Um, at the school here, we have a, a large, uh, a good involvement with the with the car industry. That means we have visiting lecturers every week coming from companies who come here. Most of them are actually former Fordsheim students, so it's, it's like a uh, quite a big family actually. That okay. uh, that everybody, uh, the designers who have plenty have graduated here, come back to the school to teach the new generations. Mm -hmm. So it's something we're very proud of. And because we have so many students in various companies, we get a, a very broad band of ideas here in the, in the school. Um, so we uh, we're quite we're quite proud of the success rate in the school as well. I'd say well over ninety percent of the students get jobs direct in the car industry. Uh, added to that, there's also the supply industry as well, which is also obviously very very big in Germany. Having said that, the students are not only involved here in Germany; they're all over the world. And uh, also in the, in the, in the, in the uh, during the studies, we for example we. We do sponsor projects with various companies. Uh, about six months ago, for example, we did a project with uh, with Mazda. Uh, we've got a design studio here in in, in Germany, and uh, it was very very successful it was with the masters group. And some of the companies usually like to repay the students in somewhat a small way, and they decided they would take the students. Um, to a sushi evening in a restaurant and ask the students, for example, um, where's the best sushi uh, okay. restaurant here in Germany, or yeah, here in the neighbourhood, nobody knew of one. But fortunately we had a Japanese student on the course and he said the best sushi restaurant is in Japan. So Master took us all to Japan, uh, to the sushi restaurant. Uh, obviously the present we had, that was part of the, the deal was to do a presentation at uh, Master in Hiroshima. So we, we like to get the companies involved uh, with the school um, and obviously it builds up the loyalty between the school, between the students and the companies. Um, the master's course as opposed to the, the undergraduates, the undergraduates learn the, sort of the traditional way, that's with, with clay modelling, with renderings and they do everything by hand. Whereas the master's course, as you see here, everything's done on computer. So there's no, they don't, they're not involved with clay or filler or anything, it's uh, purely done on, on the computer. The reason why we're doing that is because of the tradition, the recent tradition of having the designer, something that we call a data modeler, that was a traditional modeler who now works on a computer, then we have the computer, and then we have the result at the end of it. Now from the designer to the end result, there can be a lot of things go missing where the design is maybe looks like what the designer would like, but sometimes it doesn't quite turn out that way. What we're trying to teach the students here is what they develop on the computer is exactly what comes out at the end of the end of the design process. And up till now it's been working very well. All the students are getting jobs in the industry. I hope it continues like that. How can you get a student in the, in, in the, at, the, at that university? How do you apply for a, for a uh, place? 
yeah. Uh, normal procedure, but it's all, it's actually a little bit, it's quite a little bit difficult here in, in Fordstown. Um, first of all, you obviously have to have good graduation from a, from a high school. Um, you apply to the school with a, with a portfolio, and uh, the portfolio is assessed not by, not just by the professor from the one department, from all the departments. So uh, we'll have people judging transportation designers from jewellery, from fashion, from industrial design as well. This is, I have to judge the application of fashion and uh, jewellery and industrial design. And it's quite a long process. We look through all the work and the, the grades of all the applicants. Um, afterwards, uh, the successful candidates are invited to come here to Fordstown for two days. They're given uh, a little test of these two days for art artistic abilities. They're giving drawing tests. And at the end of the two days, they're also giving a personal interview. So uh, after that, we go through the same process again, again with the work that has been done during these uh, two days. The profess professors go through all the work again, reassess all the work, and the successful candidates are invited to join us the next term here in, here in Fontsheim. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a long process, um, but we're more or less guaranteed a, a, a very good standard. How many applications do you get uh, per semester? Uh, for the undergraduate, for the undergraduate um, uh, transportation designers, we've had it well over a hundred uh, applications. We take between ten and twelve students from that. Obviously, we're a little bit limited here because, <laughs> well, ju not just because of the the room, but because of the intensity, of the one-to-one -one, uh, tuition that the the students get here in Fordsheim. For the master's course, we get applicants from all over the world. People who've studied industrial design and transportation design, they've already got a, a, a degree, and they come to us from yeah as far as New Zealand up to to Argentina, Mexico, Canada, all over the world. Uh, the tuition, as opposed to undergraduates, is in English. So that makes it especially attractive. Um, and it's the same process for them as well uh, to apply for the course. So you are teaching exclusively in English? In the master's course, yes, it's all done in English. Obviously, we have uh, applicants or students from all over the world, so my Korean isn't very good. My, it's almost as good as my Chinese and my Japanese. So it's easier if the students speak English than I try to uh, speak their language. Okay. So thank you very much. It was very interesting. Well, thank you very much.